What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Oh, wow, we have not been back to these guys in a while. We're coming back to Bloody Wood. Yes, indeed. Bloody Wood fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Way Too Late TV, and Way Too Late TV want to see me react to this? It is Bloodywood with a song called Dana Dan. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Bloody Wood, surprise, surprise. And the video has 564,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Bloody Wood, Dana Dan, Indian folk metal. Yeah, I, I got that part already. I, I, I've, I've had experience with these guys before, so. I know what to expect there. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. covering all the bases when it comes to feel switching around with feel i've heard one two three four five di five distinct differences in feel they have had half time they have had straight time they have had 
double time. They have had six eight feel, and they have also had twelve eight feel. Uh, you know, here's the meter, right? One. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. half time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Straight time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And here we go. Double time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Here's the interesting part. They're playing around with three as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But here's still the tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. They've been everywhere, man. Everywhere. And their tempo has never changed. They've never actually changed tempo. They've figured out five different ways to play with feel off of the exact same tempo. I love the diversity. I love the diversity. My only complaint is there have been a few times where they have changed feel a little too quickly. Like they would, like, especially with like the double time feel. You know, they'll do double time for literally, there's, there was one point where they did double time for literally two measures before they switched it back again. Personally, I feel that's a little distracting. And it, it, it does take away from some of the effectiveness because you didn't really give the listeners a chance to get into that new feel. If he had done that for four measures instead of two, I think it would not have been as jarring. I, I think it would have been a little more settling. Um, I mean, I, I love what they're doing. I love their approach. I love the fact that they are playing with feel and they are playing with different varieties of feel. I just wish at times they wouldn't switch so rapidly. That's all. I mean, but everything else sounds good. I'm digging everything else. So let's keep going here. You up on the spot and you saw the rock. Yeah. No man, yes, old man, need old man. Right. Who always saw that can't be when it's been the way of a man. You see for yourself to get involved in talking all in. Do more parts of war. Can't talk to death, really be lost. Right. Speak the Lord, you clean up the court every doom for her to. I'm not gonna lie. Sanity up in the patriarchy, I'm a love it. We done asking nasty, so now we're here to tug it. No man and a woman, it's the people that are running. Listen for that engine, cause now we gon' be gunning. I think it's a good idea to be here, man. Take over your hands up again. The 12-8 was good. We were in the 12-8 for four measures. Then we went to 6-8. We were only there for two measures, and now we're back into the straight time again. See, that's what I'm talking about. I love the approach. I, I love the idea. I love the theory of it. You know, it's playing around with all the different feels. I, I like that, but give it a little more time. You know, that that's all I'm asking for. I, I just, it's... <sighs> It's hard to get into a groove when you only have that groove for two measures. You know what I mean? I mean, you can do it if you're ready for it. Sure. You know, if you're, if you can anticipate, like if you've heard this song like 20 times and you know, it's coming, that's different because you can anticipate it. Okay. We're in this section. I know this part's coming Four, three, two, one here. And then you can rock out to it and you know, in two measures, the next part's coming. You know, that's different than someone like me right now who's listening to this song for the very first time and I'm getting a little, I, I, I feel like, um, I feel like I'm in the back of a, like, a, like a back of a cargo truck and we're, we're going down some really twisty and turning canyons. I feel like I'm just, I'm being slammed from wall to wall to wall. Oh, they're on the brakes. Oof. And then, you know, they're accelerating. You know, I just, I feel like I'm being jostled around everywhere. And it's, it's, 
if I'm being honest, it's a little unpleasant. It is. I, I, I love this stuff, though. That's the funny thing. I love it when bands play around with feel, but I like it when they play around with feel in a pleasing way, in a way that makes sense, in a way that gives the listener a chance, especially as a first-time listener. Because I want you to think about this. As a first-time listener, this is the first time I've heard the song. If I'm not comfortable with the song, if I'm listening to the song and I feel like I'm being jostled around and I don't I don't feel like I'm really getting given a chance to really get into the song and enjoy the song, I want you to think about this hard. What are the chances that I'll want to listen to this again? Probably not that high, right? As it stands, I'm gonna be honest with you folks, I, I don't know if I want to listen to this song again. I, I, I really don't think I do. Um, it's just, it's so discombobulating. It really is. And it, as songwriters, at that point, they failed. They absolutely failed. Isn't the whole point of writing a song to grab the listener from the beginning and hold on to them, not let them go? Write a style of song that you know, grabs the listener and hooks them and makes them want to listen to it again. So maybe they'll be enthralled with it and they'll go, okay, I wonder what else these guys have. Isn't that the point? At least for a music video song, which is supposed to be a hit, right? Because the music video is the tool. It's the, it's the push. It's the advertisement, right? It's the advertising tool to hook the listener and suck them in to try to convince them to go and buy the album. But if this is it, if this is the if this is the hit song, I don't know how effective that's going to be. I, I just don't. I think they'll have plenty of record sales from their previous fans, but as far as getting new fans, I think they're going to see a decline. You know, I just, I feel bad, but I'm, I'm just... I'm just telling you how I feel, guys. I, I, I'm not, I mean, I, I'm digging the song, but at the same time, I'm not digging the song. You know, there, there are things I'm enjoying and there are things I'm not really enjoying. So this is, this is gonna be a tough one, which is a shame because I, I haven't directed these guys in a long time, but the last reaction I did to them, man, I dug it. I absolutely dug it. And a lot of those same elements are here, but it's just, too discombobulating, man. It really is. Anyway, let's let's keep going here. time there. That was a nice little contrast. 
Ah. There were things I liked. There were things I didn't like. There were things I really liked slash loved. Nothing I hated though. That though I I didn't hate anything. I just had a I just had a couple of things I just wasn't a fan of. So in contrast to the things I so there were things I I there were things I didn't like. There were things I liked and there were things I loved. So the positives far outweigh the negatives. So I don't know how this is going to go though. Because the negatives are going to affect the score. They they are. I just I don't know how much. Um shoot. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Bloody Wood with Dana Dan. This was a request from Way Too Late TV. Okay, I thought about it. I, I weighed everything against each other, and I have a score here. I do. Um, I am going to say, yeah, I, I, I kind of was at the end of the reaction. I was kind of thinking to myself, yeah, are, are the negatives going to have an impact on the score? And, and the truth of the matter is, yes, they, they did have an impact on the score. Having said that, though, it didn't impact the score as much as I thought thought it was going to it actually i mean it had impact yes but it, it, it's barely noticeable okay I'll, I'll explain what i mean by that let's start off with the score first on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give that an 8.2 yep 8.2 i feel good about that score let me tell you why why okay first things first 8.2, what does that mean? Well, an 8.2 would translate to a great scale rating, so I think it's a great song. Uh, it would translate up to four to five stars and an A minus letter grade, so there you go. 8.2, which equals a great scale rating, which equals four to five stars, which equals an A minus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> oh man, so glad you asked. I want to be very clear. I did enjoy the song. I enjoyed it, but I'm not going to sit here and say that I loved it. Um, there were a lot of good things going for this, and there were some great things going for it too. Um, let's start with all the good stuff, okay? Um, no, I'm going to save that for the end. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the, uh, the structure of the song. Did it make sense? Absolutely. You know, you had a very clearly defined chorus section. You had a very defined uh, verse section. You had a clear intro, clear outro, clear breakdown section. I mean, everything was very well defined. There was no guesswork. So I appreciate that. Smart songwriting and arranging. Very nicely job. Nicely done job. Uh, instrumentation. Everybody sounded like they did a really good job on their instruments. Uh, I didn't hear anything super impressive from a technicality standpoint. Uh, but I mean everything they played was super solid. I mean, I, I have no complaints about anything that was played uh, The guitar tone in very typical bloody wood fashion from what I've what I remember of the other two reactions I've done to these guys a very very thick and crunchy distortion patch Almost to the point of being muddy almost not quite I, I, it didn't get muddy, but it it, it it got close a few times. I was like, oh boy, we're, we're trip." We are we are walking a tightrope right there, boy. No, but it, it sounded fine. I, I, I no issue with it. it. I like that thick, crunchy guitar tone. I do. Um, the bass. I don't know if I could really hear the bass. I don't think. I think that was the guitar just kind of messing with me. I don't know if I heard the bass or not. Um, that's the danger when you're playing with a, in, in drop B or if you're playing with a seven string guitar. You start to get into the bass register, and it 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 starts to kind of mess with the actual bass as far as frequency goes. Um, the instrument drumming sounded solid. I got no issue with the drumming whatsoever. Drummer did a great job. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, vocally, everything sounded strong. Everything sounded solid. Got no issue with anything that was happening. Vocally, everything made sense. Um, and, and they would change up their vocal styles appropriately with the song. When the song got more intense, the vocal style got more intense. When the song got a little more laid back, the vocal approach got a little more laid back. So that all made sense. Um, 
the biggest thing for me, the biggest plot. Here's here's the funny thing. This is this is where we're gonna get a little bit of a <laughs> a little bit of a paradox going here. That that the the strongest thing about this song was also its weakness. I loved the play with feel. I loved how they were able to take five different feels and apply it to a single tempo. For the record, we never actually switched tempo. We never actually switched the beats per minute, okay? All we did was play around with the feel of the song. Ultimately, that comes down to one person. That comes down to the drummer. Uh, the drummer did a, and this is why I want to talk about him later. The drummer did a great job. I mean a great job of establishing each feel and leading it in to each feel, setting up and transitioning into each feel um, and clearly defining each of those feels. We had halftime in 4-4, four, four, straight time in 4-4, four, four, double time in 4-4, four, four, we also had, while maintaining the 4-4, we had a 6-8 feel and a 12-8 feel, all within the 4-4. So I, I was really impressed by that, by the drummer. That I, I will absolutely give credit where credit's due. Now having said that, while I appreciate and I love the play with feel that they had and the variety that they were able to show and implement, I gotta say, not not through the whole song. There were look, uh, no, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, there were a few times during the course of the song where they would change the feel, in my opinion, too rapidly. Okay, so like there were some points where we switched like to let's say that twelve eight. Okay, we were in straight ahead four four. We switched to that twelve eight for literally two measures. And then we switched back to the straight time. Or we were like in half time to the 12 8 for two measures and then into straight time for another two measures before we went into double time. But when we went to the double time, we were there for 16 measures. You know what I mean? For the most part, I would say about 90%. Uh, well, maybe not 90. Uh, well, no, 90. I, I, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I would say 90% of the song, they. They did a really good job of giving each transition, giving each field change a chance to establish itself for the listener to be able to get into the groove and enjoy it. I, I, I really believe that. I think 90% is a fair number. Uh, but that leaves the other 10% where it was jarring, it was abrupt, it was sudden, and it was a little discombobulating if I'm being honest, like I, I use that analogy of being in the back of a, of a moving van, you know, like, like a U-Haul truck, and you're just going down a canyon, a, a, like, if for those of you that live in Ventura County, if I say the words Decker Canyon, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's just constant twists and turns and twists and turns. I felt like I was in the back of a van. Oh, and don't forget, you have, you're going downhill, you gotta check your brakes. Ah, you, you're getting thrown against you know, you're trying to stay on your feet and all you're doing is getting slammed from wall to wall, front to back, and it, it's not a, it's not a fun ride, guys. It really isn't. Um, and there were a number of times in the song where I felt like that. Now, here's the thing. And I, I talked about this during the reaction. I don't want to talk about this for very long because I already did, so I, I just want to hit a bullet point on this. When a person is listening to the song for the very first time, you should want the listener to be able to be hooked by it, right? You should want the listener to enjoy it and want to listen to it again. Now, there are going to be people who have heard this song five times, eight times, 13 times, 15 times, 27 times, and they're going to know, they're going to know that this is where the change is. This is where the change is, and they're ready for it. They can anticipate it, and as a result, it's not going to be jarring. It's not going to be abrupt. But for a first time listener, like this guy right here, uh, not knowing what's coming, not able to anticipate the time changes, not being prepared and braced for it, it's it's off putting, it, it really is. And if I'm being honest guys, and I, I hate to say it, but I, I, I'll i be honest guys, I, I, I don't wanna listen to this again. I, I, I don't, it's, it's, 
it, it, it's too awkward for me. I just, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Um, if I were to listen to it again, I, and honestly, I probably will. I probably will force myself to listen to this a few more times. Um, I'm sure I'll get used to it and I'll be ready for it. And I'll, I'll be able to anticipate it. And I'll be like, okay, here it comes. Get ready, get ready, get ready. And half time. Half time, double time. And then the 12A. In the straight time. I'll be ready for it. I'll be able to anticipate it. I'll be braced for it. So when it does happen, I'm cool with it. But as a first time listener, and this is what everybody seems to forget when I talk about stuff like this. As a first time listener, it's a little abrupt. It's a little jarring, it's a little discombobulating. Did it affect the score? It did. But here's the thing, and this is where it gets offset a little bit. While they may have been changing a little too frequently in a certain places, in a couple of spots where it happened a little too quickly for my taste, I will say that every time they did change feel, it was done smoothly. It didn't sound like they were tripping over their own feet. It didn't sound like they didn't think it through. It didn't sound like it didn't make sense. And because it was executed so cleanly, I didn't take off as many points as people might think. I only dropped the score, honestly. I only dropped it about 0.2. It wasn't that big of a deal, folks. We literally went from an 8.4 to an 8.2. It's no difference. It's no difference at all. That the scores, the great scale rating, four out of five stars, the A minus letter grade, it doesn't change. It would have been the exact same anyway. It's just eight instead of, instead of an 8.4, we're getting an 8.2. That's it. That's the only difference. So hopefully people don't lose their minds over it. No, but look, overall, overall, I do believe this is a great song. And I am willing to, I, I don't, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you folks, I don't want to but I am going to force myself to listen to this a few more times because I do see the potential for this being enjoyable, especially for someone like me who does love uh, feel play. But at the same time, as a first time listener, it was odd. It was definitely odd. So that's how we're coming up with an 8.2. I feel good about that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got an 8.2, which is a great scale rating, four to five stars, and an A minus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and Support each other. Later. Peace.